So you finally set up Sapphire West and your timer resolution and are now looking for the before last thing you can do to improve Sapphire West. That being affinities. So the first step is opening the GitHub link in the description. Then go to releases and download the latest zip. From there on, extract it. Open the folder where you extracted it to. Open the next folder and right click on config.ini. Now, if you have a CPU with hyper threading like I do here, I recommend setting custom CPUs to all of your cores. As you can see here, combinations are accepted, whatever. The only benchmark uh, here it gives you a guide on how to set these. So, for example, I'm on a 6 core CPU here, so I would set 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And 10, my bad. So I would set 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Pretty much every two CPUs, there's a core, starting from 0. Now, for example, if you were on a 8 core, you would also set 12 and 14 and so on. But as I'm on a 6 core CPU, I'm only going to set these up. Now, from here, close absolutely everything you have running, even if it's Vanguard. Uh, oh god. Even if it's Lightshot, Riot Client, Discord, Ungoogled Chromium, your browser even, and OBS. Now, I'm going to have to switch to my capture card for this, so... Now that it is done, I usually recommend running this two or three times, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do it. It would make the video a lot longer, so from here, open the other link in the description, click on download, choose the closest server to you, save, extract the zip file, Open the new folder, but if you're on Sapphire West, you can just simply go to post install tweaks and then interrupt affinity policy tool. From here, look for your best core. As you can see, in my case, this is four, undoubtedly four. Like uh, the results don't lie. This is an amazing performance from uh, CPU four. From here, just find your GPU, click on set mask and set the mask to your core. It says that it doesn't matter just uh i did sadly kind of forget that that would crash my obs so um well it doesn't really matter anyhow from here if you want to you can keep in mind all of your other good cores like for example cpu zero here is also really good but i would not recommend using cpu zero for anything as you can see my cpu 2 is also really good so i could use this to set my usb affinities which as you can see that is my USB XACI compliant host controller. That is what your USB controller should be called. You can just set your affinity to the next good CPU. And as you can see, if I move my mouse now, it doesn't move. But now it does once it's set. Another good core would be, let's see. Would be CPU 2, which I could either use for audio or my network interface card, for which it would search something like this. As you can see, here we have Realtek our PCIe Ethernet controller, and here I would just set its mask to 2. So I seem to suffer from some kind of dementia, because uh, I did not manage to realize that, well, I already set CPU 2 to USB. I do not recommend having multiple drivers on the exact same core if you're doing masks for the affinities. Um, <laughs> how did I, how did that happen, dude? As you can see once i click on yes it's going to say the fact that i have no internet and sooner or later it should be coming back as you can see it came back and this will help improve buffer bloat internet speeds and generally driver latency for all of these now you have finally set up your affinities stay tuned for the last thing you can do although just saying it's not free since it's going to be the paid sapphire tool